Hi everybody. The Chevrolet Tahoe and other large SUVs based on trucks are among the most useful vehicles available. They are able to transport a sizable family, tow a boat to the lake, and take you on an off-road excursion. However, due to their large size, they consume a lot of fuel and are less fun to drive than a minivan. Also, don't expect too much in terms of the ride quality. Fortunately, the new Super Cruise hands-free semi-automatic driving system and magnetically controlled shock absorbers are two of the Tahoe's advanced features that make up for some of these flaws. The 2023 Tahoe received a number of updates from Chevrolet. The most notable addition is the Super Cruise system, which is available on the Premier and High Country trim levels, which are the highest. Adaptive cruise control is now standard equipment on the highest end High Country trim. After the longer Suburban, Chevrolet's Tahoe is the second largest SUV. It faces competition from the Ford Expedition, the redesigned Toyota Sequoia, and the brand new Jeep Wagoneer, all of which are SUVs based on large trucks. The Tahoe is very competitive, but it doesn't have comfortable seats and some interior materials that look cheap. If you're not sure if the spacious Tahoe is right for you, read the full review by our test team in the expert rating down below. Purchased a Chevy Tahoe Z71 for long-term testing in 2022. It is our intention to drive it for a year and 20,000 miles. Find bargains on Tahoes for sale in your area. How about the interior? Even third row passengers have ample headroom to reach their seats thanks to the door's wide openings, which make it simple to access the front and rear seats. There is a wide range of adjustment options for the driver's seat and steering wheel to accommodate a variety of drivers. Although the tall front end can make it nearly impossible to see obstacles closer than 6 feet away, visibility is generally good. Fortunately, the Tahoe has a great multi-view camera system that makes it easy to park in tight spots. The Tahoe's inefficient use of space is our main gripe. Many secondary controls have had to be moved or grouped together because of the push-button shifter that is mounted in the dashboard. For instance, the redundant controls for the touchscreen and audio system take up too much valuable dashboard space. The Tahoe's controls on the steering wheel are also hard to understand. How is technology? The navigation system and 10.2-inch screen were included in our test vehicle. We like Chevrolet's most recent touchscreen interface because it has clear graphics, a simple menu structure, and quick response times. Additionally, it supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Fuel economy How much fuel do you use? The EPA predicts that a 4WD Tahoe equipped with the 5.3 liter V8 will achieve an average combined fuel economy of 16 mpg. Our test Tahoe got 17.8 mpg on our evaluation route, which was 115 miles long. It should also be noted that the Tahoe's 5.3-liter engine does not require premium gasoline, whereas the turbocharged engine in the Ford Expedition does. 
Chevrolet offers a 6.2-liter V8 engine with more power and an estimated 16 mpg combined. Additionally, a diesel engine with impressive 24 mpg is available. Is the Tahoe worth the money? It will not be cheap to pack a full-size SUV with technology and luxury features. Which Tahoe is suggested? In the Tahoe lineup, the LT trim is just right. Models of the Chevrolet Tahoe The 2023 Tahoe is an SUV with three rows that can hold up to nine people. There are six trim levels available, the Z71, Premier, High Country, LS, LT, and RST. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.